bottom line of all of this is that we need to have Christ in you. Like I said, we all know people and we all have done it and we all have seen it. People that walk the walk, talk the talk religiously and then pressure gets put on them and they quit and they're back to their old ways. That's somebody that has warred in the flesh and never warred in the spirit. Our weapons of warfare are not carnal. They're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. If I've quit smoking in my own flesh, if I've quit drinking in my own flesh, if I've quit doing X, Y, and Z because I've overcome it in my flesh, just wait till the squeeze gets put on. I will be right back to smoking, drinking, and doing all those things because I did not overcome them because God put some sort of spiritual strength in me, but rather... I've overcome them because I've mustered up enough courage of my own flesh. The flesh shall profit you nothing in all avenues of your life. Let the light in. Let the peace rule in you. War in the spirit. Bottom line, have Christ in you. He is the hope of glory. If you want to glory, if you want to overcome, if you want to be strong in this Christian life, if you want to fight unto the end, Romans chapter 8, you need to have Christ in you, the hope of glory. Romans chapter 8, and in verse 6, it says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Romans 8 and verse 7, Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, or it's the enemy of God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. And if you are warring in the flesh, you're not pleasing God. If you are soul winning in the flesh, you're not pleasing God. If you're preaching the Bible in the flesh, you're not pleasing God. And people do this all the time. We've seen scores of them. People that of their own flesh muster up spiritual zeal. And if you are doing that, you've not pleased God. You get a hundred souls saved while you're walking in your flesh. You've not pleased God. You won't see an ounce of reward for that. You cannot please God by behaving and acting and overcoming, let's say, in the flesh. This fruit that is in you will always reveal itself by what comes out when the pressure is on you. And every time, every time we've seen one of these Christians who acts and walks and talks and lives in the power of their own flesh, when the pressure's on, they expose themselves as being false brethren. They expose themselves as being as carnal as all get out. They expose themselves for who they are. They ought to first clean the inside of the cup that the outside may be clean also. Romans 8 and verse 10 says, And if Christ be in you. Remember when you squeeze a lamb and you get what's ever on the inside? What happens when you squeeze a Christian? If Christ be in you. And that's a choice you have to make. You have to walk in the Spirit to have Christ dwelling in you. You have to reckon yourselves to be dead unto sin, but alive unto God. If Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Verse 13, For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. If you want to live, if you want to get through the battle, if you want to finish strong, you need to have Christ in you. And that is a moment by moment, a day by day decision. And it also is something that you build up to. You grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior. You, you, you have sub one point of submission at a time, one command obeyed at a time. You will grow in Christ and he will dwell in you richly. Of course, the spirit lives in you, but that spirit that lives in us lusteth to envy and sometimes we just push him to the side sometimes honestly we just we just suppress the spirit as much as we can because we're fully carnal but if christ is in you the hope of glory then when the next round of covid shutdowns comes when the next time somebody screams at you at a door or tells you to put on a face mask or, or attacks you for something you didn't, a lies about you. When, when that happens, when the squeeze and the pressure is put on you, when somebody hurts you, wrongs you, lies about you, when your finances start crumbling, when you start having issues in your life, when the squeeze is put on you, if Christ is in you, the only thing that's going to come out is Christ. And that's what we need to strive for. We need to suppress, mortify, kill, destroy the flesh. We don't want that thing bubbling up. Whatever is on the inside of the fruit, that's the heart. 
And that will eventually spill out. Make sure that it's Christ. Make sure your heart is full of Christ. You're dwelling in Christ and He in you. It's that reciprocating abiding. He lives in you, you live in Him. That's what you need all the time, moment by moment. How do you get that? Let the light in. How do you get that? Let the peace of God rule in your heart, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Let the rule of the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Be full of that and war in the spirit. Don't war or fight in the flesh. No, you'll be destroyed. You won't please God if you're doing any of this Christian walk in the flesh. Serve him in the spirit, in the newness of the spirit, and have Christ in you, the hope of glory. And then, when the pressure's on, all we'll be able to see is Christ. And you won't end up being marked one of those COVID crazies because you couldn't keep it together. Right? You, you lost your mind. You flipped out. You were angry with people. You are yelling at people. You are you're just exhibiting nothing but flesh. At a time when God was just pressuring you so that he could make something great about you, you missed the chance. You missed the mark. Hey, repent of that. If you messed up, if you got mad at people, if you got stressed out during COVID and, and you felt like it just ruined your Christian life, hey, we can recover from that. That's fine. Repent, get it right, move on from now. Wait for the next challenge when Christ will put the squeeze on you to the end that you will be tried to come out whiter as a result, polished as a Christian. I thank you, God, for your word. I, I thank you, Lord.